Hey guys, welcome back. You came to part three, so thanks very much for doing that. So today we've got our micronutrients. So what we're looking at is vitamins and minerals, basically. So these are things that come while you should always eat your fruits, your veggies, all those kind of things. They come in all our sorts of food, but in in the refined foods that many of us eat today, the boxed foods like that, they're very minimal. You find them in the best sources are fresh sources of like meats, vegetables, grains, all those kind of things that haven't been processed, that's when you're going to find these in the highest quantities kind of thing. Or you usually hear the news raving on about the new superfood, this, that, or the other sort of thing. So that's your vitamins and minerals. That Why they're important? They're involved in catalysts and whether they are catalysts, which means basically it's simplify it, they speed up the reactions that happen in your body. And by reactions, I just mean the processes that take place to keep us alive, to give us energy for hormone production, all those kind of things. Vitamin and minerals are important for that. Um, so we need to get them in from our food and our diet sort of thing, not just rely on a multivitamin or whatever sort of thing like that. So where do they come from? As I just said, mainly your fruits and vegetables are your big hitters. You've also got like lean meats and stuff like that. But we're going to look at these today. So you've got your fruits. They're good, but the problem is too many people consume them in too high quantities because fruits are also contain sugar and they have fructose. And we can only store a limited amount of fructose roughly 50 grams in our liver. So too much of this can cause issues, cause problems, sort of thing like that. There's a whole documentary, like sugar sort of thing out at the moment, raving on about that. Basically, fruits are really good for you, but don't overconsume them. And avoid things like apple juice, orange juice, and things like that. They're super refined. For example, your glass of apple juice has the same amount of, it has roughly like the amount of sugar from four apples in one tiny little glass that doesn't fill you up. You should eat your fruits instead of getting them in drinks, basically. Then you've got your vegetables. These are great. They've got fiber in them, and what you need to know is there's two sources of fiber, soluble, insoluble. Just to quickly give you a run through of them. Soluble just means, obviously, they can be broken down into water, sort of thing like that, and they slow the rate of digestion. And then you've got insoluble, which means they can't break down in water, and that it's, and then they're also, both types of fiber are needed for uh, a healthy gut, and they just slow down the rate food digests, which means you feel full or for longer, sort of thing like that. You probably experience that when you eat tons of veggies, you're like, oh, I feel really full, or you eat oats and you're like, wow, my stomach's full. Um, why they're important, I've got here, sort of thing, like they're filling, adding them to part of your diet. Most of the time people get, problem with why they gain weight is they're always hungry, sort of thing. If you consume more vegetables, they're usually filling, they're less calorie dense, sort of thing like that. So they're always far better for things like that. So you want to consume large amounts of vegetables because they're going to make you feel full and they're going to keep you full for quite a time. Not only that, but they're going to contain high amounts of your vitamins and minerals, which as we're talking about are completely vital to all the processes that happen within your body. So there's your quick rundown of micronutrients. And again, this is part three. These are obviously, this is a vitally important thing to health, but like we're saying, this is basically the right the levels of the importance because obviously if you're not getting if you're getting too many calories and they're of the wrong macronutrient these your micronutrients are obviously going to be out of proportion sort of thing so this is super important but obviously you've got to have your macros and your calories and energy in balance for this to really be able to pay off effect and that's what we're working on is building up our pyramid here so stay tuned next one is going to be timing so i'll catch you in that video